Hello everybody and welcome to another Inkscape developer update. Uh, my name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer uh, trying to develop Inkscape uh, with features and fixes that the regular users need. Uh, thank you for jo joining me for this update for, for this week. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big regular thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Uh, thank you all so much for helping fund the work that I do on Inkscape and I'm hoping to be able to encourage more of the people that listen uh, to my, my updates to uh, come and help. Um, doesn't take much, but uh, thank, th thank, thank you all even for the, for, for the praise and the comments and especially for the testing. Uh, every, everything helps. Uh, first of all, this week I want to give a brief look at the, a small website page that I made last week. This was a uh, basically a situation that I've had a couple of times where I've released a feature and uh, people have asked me for builds, Windows builds, Mac builds, Linux builds for the feature before it's been merged into Inkscape, before it's been released. And it's been difficult to show them, um, you know, because you've got a link to specific, very specific pages with lots of squiggly letters in them. And then they change because you commit a new fix and now the link is different. So what I've done is I've put together a uh, page on the Inkscape website that's actually generic. It's not just for me. It's for any any development that's currently going on and in progress development in Inkscape. You will see a list of uh, the latest commits, the latest changes, and uh, you'll see whose uh, merge request it is. And then you'll see a link to Linux builds, Windows builds, and Mac builds. Now. The page links directly to GitLab and it uses a feature where it tries to give you the latest build for that platform and there's no guarantees that there will be a build for Mac or for Windows, for example. There probably will be, but say if somebody just committed something, uh, it might take a couple of hours before the actual build of that fix is ready. Uh, but this page can't tell you that because it's kind of naive, it's just creating simple links at the moment. Uh, but hopefully it will help. I'll be able to give this link to more in individuals. They'll be able to test more of the fixes and also other developers will be able to get more regular users to test test their work too, which should help. Um, uh, another great thing this week is the objects and di dialogue that I showed you last week. It's merged, hooray, into the main Inkscape development release. That means that it's definitely going to be in Inkscape 1.2 and you can try it right now in the developer builds. Um, we fixed a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Adam gave me a big long list of stuff to fix and I worked through it. And we we basically have a, a version of the objects in a dialogue which we think is okay, uh, which is high praise coming from Adam. He, uh, he, he wants more stuff to, to be fixed uh, later on, so we're going to do a round two, or we're going to see if we can do a round two, to kind of polish it up more. Um, so if you have ideas about what, uh, how you think the objects and dialogue should, should be improved further, um, do, do let us know, because um, this is exactly the kind of place in the cycle. Uh, we've got, what, like eight months until the next Inkscape release. So um, yeah, please do get get your comments in and try try it out and see if you see if you like it. Uh, but one of the great things is that it fixes twenty one issues instantly, like that. Twenty one Inkscape issues fixed. Another eight issues are either partially or maybe fixed. And uh, I just love that. I just love that. Like a single merge request knocks out. Like multiple multiple issues at the same the same time. Um, that makes me that makes me happy. Thank thank you for joining Newhouse for for uh, giving me that list of issues of all of the things that that this this merge request fixed. Uh, it's been a it's been a, um, a long standing feature request, and also the uh, old objects dialog had a lot of issues, uh, which is why it needed to be replaced anyway. Um, I also had a look at uh, trying to refactor the right-click context men menus. So at the moment when you right-click in Inkscape on an object and you you get a little men menu that pops up, that is a fixed piece of code that generates that men menu when you right-click. 
and it's non-configurable. Uh, you can't set keyboard shortcuts to many of those functions and uh, it only appears in that men menu. In fact, some of the functionality literally only appears in that me menu, uh, which is bad. So uh, one of the things that we wanted to do for the objects note dialog is actually improve the con context me menu. And uh, it looks like we can probably get away with using the existing me menus XML, like there's an XML file that generates where all of the met menus in the top bar will appear. You can actually configure that. Most users don't really realize this, but if you edit the XML file, you can, you know, rearrange those menu items. Uh, it's not easy though. So we want to be able to actually use that same structure, that same code to generate menu items, but for the right click men menus. And this means moving a lot of those functions to regular actions which should also mean that you can set things like keyboard shortcuts to, to them as well. Um, fingers crossed. It's, at the moment, it's at the exploration stage. I'm working on to see whether it's possible and how much disruption it would cause. Um, but it needs to get done anyway, because it's just a, it's just one of these like really weird pieces of Inkscape that is must have been built ages ago and nobody's touched it in a long time. Uh, I also have been looking at the connectors work. It's one of the branches that I still have open. Um, there's a few remaining issues that need to be fixed to um, make it at least reasonable to use, uh, mostly due to the way uh, objects get moved around and how their their automated automatically generated midpoints should be adjusted as you move them. I think this is mostly just to make them easier to use for certain workflows. Uh, but if you're interested, you can try out the uh, the builds and let me know at this stage um, what you think should be fixed. Um, I can't pr pr promise that I can work on many features, but if you see glaring problems, this is a good time to test, test that build, especially if you're using it for electrical diagramming. Um, that's the main workflow that I'm targeting right now. So uh, with that, that's pretty much it for, for this week. Uh, thank you all very much for listening. Uh, do test the code. Thank you very much for uh, your support, and I'll see you all next week.